What's up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and it's time for an Inky Fave today, a Grab 5 challenge. So if you're new over here, a Grab 5 is a challenge that I started a few years ago where you grab five things from your stash and you have to use them on a project. No ifs, ends, or buts unless you accidentally forget one like I have done in the past. I think my last Grab 5, I accidentally forget, forgot one of the items, but the intention was there. So it's a great way to use up some things from your stash. Today I'm using some paper pads, which are very, very neglected, especially these old. This is a very, I think this was my first ever paper pad. Uh, it's Crepe Paper Flea Market. I've got some Happy Planner quote stickers, a sheet of washi tape, which has been hanging around in my stash for a long time, a collection of little tags that I just pulled, and this sticker sheet, which I have a love-hate relationship with because of some of the colors in it. Uh, and so now we're going to dive in to a bit of project life for today. So the first thing I'm going to do once I give you a thumbs up is go through the paper pad and cut some three by four bits of paper up uh, to act as my journaling cards. This is a great thing to do if you are a traditional scrapbooker and have a lot of scrapbook paper and you want to move into Project Life but you don't want to buy all of the supplies, trust me, don't go down the rabbit hole of that I did when I started Project Life. You don't need all of the cards. It's very tempting, but as someone who I would say owns at least 10 to maybe 13 different Project Life core kits, you don't need them all. There's a lot of cards in those. There are so many cards. Um, so if you just want to dabble in Project Life and see if you like it, or just dabble in pocket scrapbooking, um, just cut up your paper that you've got and then use your stickers if you want to add different sentiments to the, the, the journaling cards in quotations. So I'm just going through and this spread didn't have, uh, there was two black and white photos and then I would say two very neutral photos and then the photo of little baby Poppy uh, where she's on her pink blanket. Um, and then the a little bit of purpley blue so I was I had that in mind when I was picking my papers I was going for things that were either black and white a little bit of soft pink um, just to tie all of my colors in so these photos were taken in May 20 18 yep 2018 uh, when we went on our first little family holiday together down to Tasmania which is a separate state um, here in Australia you've got to go across the ocean to get to there which was exciting we went on a plane it was Archie's first plane trip and um, we had a ball meeting our friend's little bub so now I've got this tag and I made this over on Patreon um, quite a while ago. It's been hanging around. I made a whole bunch of them um, in a DIY embellishment video. And so I've been slowly using them up. And this was one of the last ones that I think I had left to go. A lot of the ones that I made were Christmassy, celebratory themed uh, because of the printables that I used. And so this was one of the last ones that was kind of just a generic happy theme. Uh, so I wanted to use it here because the color just matched perfectly with Poppy's blankie. I grabbed some vellum. Vellum is something that I really love. However, I don't use it a lot because I'm slightly intimidated by how to adhere it. And I, I think that it's one of the products that I, I admire from a distance in my craft room. So it's nice to try and use little sections of it rather than large pieces. If you get overwhelmed by a product, see if you can break it down into a smaller section and make it a little bit more usable. Uh, so here I just put the tape on the vellum where I knew it was going to be covered up because otherwise you would be able to see the tape through. Then I put my letter stickers on a white piece of cardstock that I had lying around just to make it pop a little bit. And I feel like the white background of the letters then ties in with the, the whitey creamy tag um, on the right hand side there. So if you do make DIY embellishments, it makes scrapping so much easier, especially Project Life. It makes it nice and quick. Um, this was one that I did off camera because my battery died. So while I was waiting for it to charge, I quickly, quickly did that. Uh, other card I was fascinated this is a very Aussie thing 
but in Tasmania, you guys call Jats biscuits Savoys. And I, I was quite curious. I think there's somewhere, is it, is it Victoria or South Australia? Somewhere else also calls them Savoys. They're the exact same thing, I think. Are they? Are they different? Oh, no, we Googled it. One's made with butter. Anyway, biscuit chat. I do love a good Jats cracker. And so when we were looking for them at the shops, we were quite confused as to what these were. We thought they were kind of like a knockoff brand, but alas, they weren't. They tasted the same. That's my fun tangent for today about biscuits. Um, so for this next card, I just wanted to fill a card and I just grabbed a little bit of, I think that hello was part of a tag and I cut off the, the taggy part. Sometimes... The cut apart sheets, particularly, I think crepe paper has a lot of them that come out. Um, they do, you do get these sheets that have all like about 12 or more cut apart tags. And sometimes I use them as tags, but sometimes I just chop the top off and use it like a piece of ephemera. And you're not really losing much of the paper if you just cut off the tag top, um, but you can, st it just makes it a little bit easier to use sometimes. So if you're ever struggling with some of your embellishments, don't be afraid to crop them and see what you can do to uh, to change them up a little bit. That previous photo was the view from the Airbnb that we stayed in. And so I was able to use one of those house puffy stickers. It worked out perfectly. Uh, this is a photo of Archie with the boys. So they were sitting, chilling on the couch. Um, and Archie's got his little drink bottle there. And he was, he was having a ball hanging out with the fellas. Um, I think he he thought he was big and big and grown up. Um, so at this point, I think he was about 14, would have been about 14 months old. And um, baby Monica was with us as well. But she was about, she was about, or oh, she's five months younger than Arch. Um, so she wasn't walking yet. And either was Archie that well. He was a little bit. And then baby Poppy was just a couple of months old. So he, he was hanging with the older kids. He was hanging with the, <laughs> the grown-ups a little bit. So for this one, I'm just putting a little Carpe Diem sticker down there. But I felt like I needed a, a tiny bit of, um, like a I needed somewhere to journal. And that background paper is so busy that I definitely needed a, a separate label to, to stick on there. I was tempted to use the tiny alphas that I had previously done, but I felt like this page needed a bit of handwriting because I didn't do too much journaling on this page. There's a couple of layouts uh, that I also did that had journaling on them. So I didn't feel like I needed to do that much. Um, and I think that's, you know, it's some pages are definitely more journal heavy than others. Um, and some photos just kind of speak for themselves. There's another little quick one where I just got some alphas and um, wrote snuggles down the bottom and used some of those little hearts. And then here, Archie was, oh, he's quite a stubborn little fella. I don't know where he gets that from. Definitely not his mother. <laughs> Definitely is. But he refuses to wear children's hats and only likes to wear Aaron's hats um, at this point. He's good now. He loves hats. He has a little baseball cap collection just like Aaron. Um, but this was a stage where he refused to wear children's beanies and would only wear Aaron's oversized one. We even tried getting larger sized kids ones so that, you know, they're definitely not tight. Um, but there's something about he just wanted dad's one. So poor Aaron had a cold head for the for the uh, holiday that we we're on but Archie was nice and warm and looked pretty cool so this page is all done I hope you enjoyed it a little bit of project life so every two week, uh, every fortnight I will have a new video out over here on Inky Quill and then the other week there'll be one on Let's Get Inky so there will be a video every week make sure you subscribe to both my Inky Quill and my Let's Get Inky channel so you don't miss out and I will see you with another video very very soon grab five bye Bye.